Welcome to Nest. We're going to show you how to set up and install the Nest Hello video doorbell. There are a few simple steps. Check that your current doorbell chime will work with Nest Hello. Begin setup with the Nest app. Install the Nest Chime connector. Install the doorbell. Then finish up with the app. Everything you need to get started is in the box. You'll also need some simple tools and a ladder if your doorbell chime is up high. For setup with the Nest app, you'll need a compatible phone or tablet, a Wi-Fi network with a broadband internet connection that has at least two megabits of upload speed is recommended to connect Nest Hello to the internet. Be sure to have your Wi-Fi password handy too. Go to nest.com slash requirements for more information. Nest Hello is designed to work with low voltage doorbell wires. Before you try installing Nest Hello, use our compatibility checker at nest.com slash works to check that your current doorbell wiring is compatible. We recommend that you get a professional to install Nest Hello. You can contact a Nest Pro installer in your area with our online Pro Finder. They can check your wiring, set up, and install Nest Hello, and answer any questions you have. Once you've completed the compatibility checker, you'll use the Nest app to install the Chime connector inside your Chime box. Then you'll take Nest Hello outside for installation. If you're new to Nest, go to the Apple App Store or Google Play to download the free Nest app. Launch the app to create a free Nest account. Once you're signed into your account, tap the plus sign to add your Nest Hello. If you're already a Nest customer, tap the gear icon in the top right corner of the app home screen. Then select Add a Product. You'll scan Nest Hello's code with your phone's camera. If you're having trouble scanning the code, make sure you have good lighting and that you're not casting a shadow. Start with your phone about a foot away and slowly move it closer to the code. It doesn't need to fill the box in the app to scan. You can also try scanning the QR code on the envelope in the box. If you still can't scan the code, tap Continue Without Scanning so you can type it in manually you'll find the six character code on the back of your hello. The Nest app will then guide you through each installation step. Go to your home's breaker box and turn off the power to your doorbell and chime. This will protect you during installation. Try ringing your doorbell to confirm you've turned off the right switch. If you need to, you can also turn off the main power switch at the breaker box. Now remove the cover of your doorbell's chime. You may need a ladder to reach it. Take a picture of the Chime's wires with your phone. This will help with troubleshooting later. Next, you'll tell the app about the wires connected to your Chime. Most doorbell Chimes only have two wires, but yours may have more. The labels are usually on or next to the wire connectors, but they can also be on the inside of the Chime cover. In the app, select the number of wires in your Chime and then tap on what the wire labels say. Now tell the app which doorbell you're replacing so it can show you how to correctly connect the wires. Next, the app will walk you through the steps to connect your Chime wires to the Nest connector. Installing the Nest connector is required. If you don't install the connector, it could damage your doorbell system. The wire colors aren't important, but where they're connected is. We'll run through a simple wiring example for replacing a front doorbell with Nest Hello. Remember, because Chime wiring varies so much, you'll need to follow what the Nest app tells you to get the right wiring instructions but you can always have a pro install Nest Hello for you. In this basic example, disconnect the wire from the front terminal on the chime. Straighten the wire ends if needed and trim them so there's no more than one quarter inch of exposed wire. If you have stranded wires, twist them until they're tight. Next, connect your chime wires to the Nest connector. Push the wire into the terminal until it stops then gently tug it to make sure it's secure. Then put the Chime connector's white wire into your Chime's front terminal. Do the same for the trans wire on the Chime using the gray connector wires. Once the wiring is done, find a place to put the Chime connector. Make sure the connector and wires don't touch the Chime or any moving parts, or the Chime may not sound right or work at all. It may be easier to attach the connector to the outside of your Chime cover. Now, replace your Chime's cover. Next, you'll disconnect your current doorbell and replace it with Nest Hello. You can bend the wires or tape them so they don't slip back into the wall. 
If you want to change the angle of Nest Hello's camera, use the included wedge. This can be useful if your doorbell is located in a corner or close to a wall that blocks the camera's view. You can flip the wedge to reverse the angle if needed. Now you'll mark the screw holes with the wall plate. Make sure the Nest logo is at the bottom. You may not be able to reuse an existing screw hole. The wires must come through the bottom half of the wall plate's hole. If they don't, they can prevent Nest Hello from locking onto the wall plate. Use the included masonry bit and wall anchors if you're drilling into stone, stucco, or other hard materials. Now attach the wall plate. Start by drilling pilot holes with a 3 seconds drill bit. Again, make sure the Nest logo is at the bottom and that the wires come through the bottom half of the wall plate hole. The horizontal screw hole will let you straighten the wall plate if needed. You can use a level to check that it's straight. Connect the wires to Nest Hello. It doesn't matter which terminal you connect a wire to. Make sure the wires point down, not up, so any excess can be tucked back into the wall. If the wires are too short, use the wire extenders that are included in the box. To attach Nest Hello, simply slide the top onto the wall plate and press down until it clicks into place. If it doesn't seat properly or you don't hear a click, recheck that you've tucked any excess wire back into the hole. If you ever need to remove Nest Hello, use the included tool to release it. Now you can switch the power back on. Nest Hello will turn on and its light ring will turn blue. If it's not, let the app know and it will help you troubleshoot. If there's no light on Nest Hello, go back to your chime box and double check that you've correctly wired the Nest connector. If the light is yellow, Nest Hello isn't getting enough power to stream video. You'll need to contact a pro to upgrade the voltage of your doorbell system. Now you'll finish setup with the app. Make sure you have your Wi-Fi password. Tell it where you installed Nest Hello. The app will connect to Hello. Select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. If you already have a Nest product installed in your home, Nest Hello will try to get your Wi-Fi info from it. If Hello can't connect to your Wi-Fi network, you can try moving your router a bit closer or adding a Wi-Fi extender. Now that Nest Hello is connected to Wi-Fi and the app, the app will test the video. Ring the doorbell to check that your chime is working. You should also get a notification from the app that someone's at your door. If you have an electric chime that doesn't have moving parts, you may need to adjust the duration with the app so you can hear it ring. If you have a mechanical chime with moving parts and it didn't ring or didn't sound right, remove the chime cover and check that the wires aren't touching any moving parts. Then test your chime again. If your chime still doesn't sound right, Try installing the connector on the outside of your chime cover. Once you've confirmed your chime is working, you'll choose some more settings. You can try out Nest Aware for free, pick a language Hello will speak, and turn on audio recording and familiar face alerts. That's it! To learn more about the Nest Hello video doorbell and how to use it, visit our support site.